something. But I want to say this. Um, I want to give my I, I want to give my respect. I want to give my props. I want to give uh, uh, salutations. You know, I want to say salute to Andy Ruiz because I've definitely seen the improvement in Andy Ruiz. Like I'm not gonna lie when it comes to that. He's coming from because against the first AJ fight, he looked phenomenal. The second AJ fight, you can tell there was a dip there. There was a a a a. You know what I'm saying? And I, I can only imagine like me myself. You know what I'm saying? I made that amount of money. You know who knows what it is? You know. So I don't criticize on that. I hate when people criticize and say, well, Ruiz, what you did, I never seen Muhammad Ali did. We're talking about different times. Muhammad Ali never touched the money Ruiz did. Okay? So, but seeing him go into the Chris Ariola fight, me personally, I didn't think he really looked that sharp. I didn't really think he looked that good, which is also the reasoning why I thought Luis Ortiz would be, uh, excuse me, uh, would be Andy Ruiz. Because I was going based off of how he looked against Chris Ariola, but I think it really made a difference. The camp switch, going with his own team, doing what he did. He looked like a different fighter against Luis Ortiz. Yes, Luis Ortiz outboxed him, but Andy Ruiz didn't get outboxed to the sense where he was taking him out of his game plan. He was getting outboxed similar to what I talk about Deontay Wilder, where it was like, well, yeah, you can win right now. You can get these points, but I'm just allowing you to get comfortable so now I can get off what my strengths are. That's part of my game plan. Part of my game plan is getting out box, and a lot of you guys may not understand that, but it is what it is. I'm not going to go into depth on that, but I'm like part of his game plan is allowing Luis Ortiz to be comfortable enough at some point where when I do let go of this overhand right, you're not there already to predict to, bo to block it or be ready to counter it. So I give Andy Ruiz that. I think Andy Ruiz looked very good against Luis Ortiz. No problem. Like I bet against Luis Ortiz. I lost on excuse me, I bet against Andy Ruiz. I lost hundred dollars against him. So I'm not being biased. He looked amazing. He didn't look shook when he was being outboxed. He didn't look shook when he was being behind the jab. He didn't look shook when he was able to get in range. He was just so down to the game plan. So it's weird. It's interesting because especially someone who being a guy like AJ, he's getting better. Like he's progressing. Like that's that's a very beautiful thing. Marek Garcia versus Ali Arena de Maria's would be fireworks. Absolutely. Can I ask you this, though, Adari Pennant? Because I'm going to say this. You're, you're pointing out beautiful fights, but let's be real. When we're talking about the top upper echelons of the heavyweight boxing sport, like, do you think uh, uh, Marek Garcia really is, is in, that, in that conversation? You know? And I know that's not what you're saying. You're just putting out really good fights that can actually happen that aren't happening. You know, I agree with that. But I also know that at the same time, sometimes recognition, sometimes eyes, people paying attention also matters when it comes to how highly touted you're going to put a heavyweight. So a lot of times it's like, okay, if you put these fights together, now you have people really paying attention to these fights and seeing how good they are. So I actually understand that perspective as well. Yeah, I don't know if you're coming at it when it comes to this, but um, I just want to give, I just want to say this when it comes to Andy Ruiz, I'm going to say respect because God damn it, um, you looked amazing in this fight. And I didn't expect you to do that to Andy Ruiz. I was going to be to Luis Ortiz. And this also shows Luis Ortiz, you do not need to stop fighting. You need to come. Yeah, you're a beast. Because you gave Ortiz that. You, you had a better showing than Anthony Joshua against Andy Ruiz in both fights. So Ortiz is in those slouch. So I would, I would actually, and, and we're going to get into this. I know we're 47 minutes in, but hopefully I, I, can, I can rewind to this. Adari, you've been here the whole time. Please remind me to get this point. When it comes to this heavyweight uh, tournament, AJ's waiting in the winds, right? Tyson Fury's thinking about maybe fight. I think most likely if Tyson Fury fights before the end of this year, it's going to be against Derek Chisora. If AJ looks for another fight, I think he should fight Luis Ortiz. I think he should. I know it will never happen, but this fight right here, Andy Ruiz, Luis, Luis Ortiz, submits Ortiz as a goddamn beast because Ortiz is not 43. He's 46 or 47 years old. And Ruiz couldn't stop him. Actually, when Ruiz put him on his back, it seemed like Ortiz was mad, and he really went to knock out. AJ didn't even show that. Ariola. Ariola put up a, a very good showing against Andy Ruiz. I won't lie. I can't take that away from Ariola. Ariola looked amazing. But, okay. Um, Adari, when I respond, yes. Okay. So, okay. I, that makes sense. Then. That makes sense. Uh, but I want to go ahead. I'm going to play the rest of this. I, I want to see uh, who he says hits harder between Joshua and Ortiz. I'm interested. Let's go. Joshua or Ortiz. Um, I think they both hit hard, man. I think Anthony Joshua caught me when 
I didn't see a punch or nothing. He put me down like that. But with Luis Ortiz, I was cautious. I was looking at all the punches that he would hit me. So there's a punch that he got me good, and I just seen it straight coming. Boom. I think this is also why I love Andy Ruiz because he's so goddamn humble. He has a son there next to him. Nothing but respect to him. I love fatherhood. He's so goddamn humble because he said they both. He's so the, the reporter asked, and and you and this is me breaking it down, and it may be wrong, but he's like the reporter asked, "Who hits harder?" And he said they both hit really hard. Anthony Joshua hit me with a, a punch that I didn't see coming, and then he said, "Listen, with Luis Ortiz, this is what he said." He said, I was being very cautious and making sure that I was paying attention to make sure he didn't hit me with a punch I didn't see coming. And now he's describing the punch that he got hit with that he saw coming. So it's obvious he's saying Luis Ortiz hit harder. And it was almost like, in such a respectful and beautiful manner, he was saying, like, AJ hit me with a shot I didn't see coming. Ortiz hit me with a shot that I saw, and that shit hurt. <laughs> but let me, let me, let me, let me go ahead and finish it. Andy Ruiz, man, such a humble guy. Man, I'm. I'm now a fan of Andy Ruiz. I wasn't before. I'm a fan now, and I'm gonna be split. It's, it's gonna be a tough fight if he ends up finding Deontay Wilder next year, and, and it will. That's 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 what the crossroads are leading to. Deontay Wilder versus a uh, Deontay Wilder versus uh, Andy Ruiz. Not Deontay Wilder versus AJ. Not Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. If Wilder beats Salinas, we're gonna have Wilder versus Andy Ruiz next year, and most likely, uh, I don't see Fury fighting. Uh, Usyk before the end of the year. That's stupid. Fury won't fight AJ before the end of the year. That would be dumb as well. We'll probably see Fury versus Derek Chisora. Usyk will probably be good for the rest of the year. So next year, um, I think next year we'll see Fury versus... Um, I think we see Fury versus AJ before Fury versus Usyk. But let's let's, let's, let's finish this. Mm -hmm. 